Good evening, everyone. This is Owen K, the VHS guy, and it's time for a VHS and DVD update for November 3rd, 2018. And today, with the Goodwill, Savers, and Half Price books, I got some really cool tapes and DVDs. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. This is a pretty rare tape from 2005. I do know that several other users have this tape, like Jordan Rios and Fisher Rachel. And this is co produced by Imagine Entertainment, which is Ron Howard's production company. Black Reels, November 8th, 2005. Former runner from Ideal Cards and Video. Former runner from Movie Gallery. Print is blocked by the Movie Gallery Reynolds sticker. And these next two are four rounds from Hollywood Video. And this has a nice shiny cover. June 10th, 2004. Also for first Legally Blonde film as well. And those are the tapes I got at Goodwill. And now here are the tapes I got at Savers. I also have a couple other Black Edward tapes as well. I definitely have to check out this special this Christmas. The 37th week of 1992. Couldn't pass this one up. This is a Columbia Classics tape from 1990. I do know that Fisher Rachel has a couple of these as well. The ninth week of 1990. Another DreamWorks tape I have acquired. This won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture. April 14th, 2000. And this is a former runner from an unknown video store. Here's a rare box set, box set that I picked up. And this is a Canadian box set of Open All Hours. From BFS Video. I also have the CBS Fox Video release of this show as well. Which is from 1989. I also have a couple of BFS tapes. None of these have a print date. Very cool box set. Finally, we got another RC Columbia flat box tape. This is from 1985. Former one from Blockbuster. Tan Weed. Let's see. The 24th week of 1985. 
And hold on while I get this back in. There you go. I got it back in. I paused it just to save time. This film is directed by Brad Bird, who also directed The Incredibles. I have to definitely check out this film sometime. Film Arnold from Hollywood Video. And the next few are Warren Hardy tapes. This is from The Nostalgia Merchant from Here's another MGM tape in glorious black and white. I do have quite a couple of these in glorious black and white tapes. I think I have around 30, I believe, but I'll have to count, recount that. December 28th, 1991. If these next two are Three Stooges tapes, and these ones I did not have yet. And these shorts have Curly. The 23rd week of 1996. <laughs> And these ones have Shemp. The 22nd week of 1996, so printed a week before. Here's another Marx Brothers film that I have. And another Hooray for Hollywood tape. I also have one other Hooray for Hollywood tape, which is A Day at the Races. Another Marx Brothers film. Here's another Nostalgia Merchant tape. This is an HBO tape, and this is a Miramax film. May 28th, 1991. And this is a former model from Family Home Video. Another RKO collection tape from Turner, if I have. And this is from 1994. December 19th, 1994. Finally, we got another Mom and Pop Kettle film. The 29th week of 1995. And the next three are Marilyn Monroe films. The 25th week of 1992. 
Missile Form Runner from Blockbuster, purchased on February 2nd, 1992. It has a yellow Blockbuster sticker, which is pretty cool. August 25th, 1990, and the 37th week of 1990, so we all know what this has at the end, and another former auto from Blockbuster. This show stars the late Roger Moore, who passed away last year, and he was also in a couple other James Bond films. Former from Blockbuster puts it on July 31st, 2006. Let me read that again. July 31st and August 1st, 2005. And this is a Sony Pictures Classics film. The fifth week of 2004. Here's the last tape I got at Savers. Another Fox tape. The 307th day of 1997 and the 11th week of 1998. And this is a former one from Video Village. A Fox Searchlight film. This is another Disney Spanish tape I have. So I finally got another one. May 2nd and August 17th, 2001. And I do have to look for the English counterpart. Now these next two are incredibly rare. And these are Mexican Spanish tapes. So I found two more of them. Definitely had to, had to grab them. I believe these tapes are from the early 1990s. This one's from the 1990s. And it has printings on it. Also, the American and British VHS releases of this film as well. For Alice in Wonderland, I have the British release. May 19th, 2001. Definitely had to grab them. Couldn't pass them up. And now here are the DVDs I got. These first few I got at Goodwill. And this is a rental exclusive. This is a former rental from Family Video. This is the theatrical edition.
I got a few Sony DVDs as well. I believe this is one of the last Hollywood Pictures films ever released. Co-produced by Spyglass Entertainment. The back of it's just blank. Four more from Blockbuster, purchased on November 27th, 2007. Here's the last DVD I got at Goodwill. Side A is the full screen version and Side B is the widescreen version. And this book with a seal, so I'm going to keep it that way. And now you have a DVD, DVDs I got at Savers. And all three of them are former owners from Blockbuster. Purchased on April 25th, 2010, and released on March 23rd, 2010. This was released on November 3rd, 2009. And that's going to be it for my VHS and DVD update, and I'll see you later.